Wait, 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 wait. One, hold up. People are actually selling flowers that are tainted with salmonella, pesticides, heavy metals, and a whole lot more. And they know about it? What? Nah, that calls for an I Can News episode. Yes, guys. Now, things are pretty crazy out here, as we all know. People are actually selling flowers, which uh, knowingly or if there's if it's unknowingly, it's still pretty messed up. But it's tainted with salmonella, pesticides and a whole lot more. And this is not anything new. This has been happening uh, for a while now. And a lot of people try to, you know, get their stuff tested and actually take steps so it does not happen. But these businesses were actually willingly doing it. It's out in New York. So uh, as you guys can see on the screen now. This is just a news video which we've got for you guys. It literally breaks down everything. So tainted flowers were found uh, at some of these dispos out in New York. And this stuff is actually pretty crazy. This stuff is tainted with some some life-threatening stuff. I'm talking about E. coli and shit, man. So that's that's wild. You guys just definitely need to look out where you're copying your stuff from, where where you're uh, sampling your products from, and where you're overall just, you know, uh, getting your stuff from. Because... Aside from these sort of stuff, I've actually heard stories of other other stuff being in those uh, stuff as well. And that's just not good. It's pretty fucked up, if you ask me. But that is wild, man. That is absolutely crazy. I just want to bring that one to you guys' attention. Because if you guys are out in New York, uh, you definitely need to look out for that. And on the note of New York, man, history was actually made. Because you guys would probably know that New York has recently legalized, moved across to, you know, the criminalization legalization whatever you want to call it but uh there are a lot of unlicensed shops which were selling flowers and other products you know and you know you need to get a license before you can actually do that stuff so they were actually just doing it out in the open pretty much and i seen a video out on youtube and a couple of weeks after that video where they were like, yeah, we're selling out in the open and uh, there's no enforcement. Enforcement? What enforcement? There's no enforcement. A couple of weeks later, well, enforcement struck down. The police ran upon him, shut down the operation. Everyone was uh, in handcuffs and walking out of there. So, guys, get your stuff licensed before you try to uh, sell anything on the with the storefront and all that shit. I'm talking about these guys had a full storefront and everything, man. They were selling out of a, a store. And it looked like it was fully legit, but it just wasn't. So definitely, uh, that's that's crazy. But on the flip side of that coin, there's always a silver lining because history was made as New York's first retail dispo actually opened up. So as you guys can probably see on screen now, uh, the first dispo actually opened up. And this one is actually like a legit one. It's not one of those uh, unlicensed ones. And you can see these lines, man, lines and lines of people just out there just literally trying to uh, cop some of that flour and stuff, man. And let me just make this a little bigger for you guys as well. But yeah, so it's pretty wild actually what, what, what's what been going on out here in these cold, hard streets. But you can see these lines upon lines upon lines. And uh, it's it's really great to see that, you know, the legalization and the, the acceptance of the plant is growing and it's spreading across, you know, uh, not just the nation, but across the world. You guys can see it out in Thailand and all these different places. So uh, I personally think that that's a beautiful thing. Uh, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have ever been out to New York, maybe now is the time to go. But if you go and you go to hit up one of these uh, first retail disposed of open you may want to look out for some of that tainted flour <laughs> no i'm just joking i'm sure these licensed uh, places have to go through at least some sort of testing at least that's what i hope but uh it's always good to be on the safe side of things guys you don't want to uh end up sick off of some bad flour that you toked on you know so that's just pretty wild i just wanted to bring that one to you guys real quick and on the last episode one that it will affect a lot of people and we're moving out of new york now and we're moving across to the other other end of the state we're going all the way to to california man so in los angeles you know guys you know uh, la was one of the first places to actually legalize and stuff but there was a unfortunate incident which actually took place uh, it's pretty sad, uh, but this this sort of stuff happens all over the world. Uh, but this one just sort of stuck out of me because uh, thieves stole hundreds of pounds from an L.A. dispo, man. And I'm talking, this shit was crazy. It was actually pretty wild. And they literally pulled up with, like, crowbars and shit, bursted open the man's dispo, and 
made off with hundreds of thousands of dollars of goods. This is a guy right here, you know, the Dispo owner. Uh, he seemed to be in shock, couldn't even process everything, you know. And it's really sad to see, you know, he was talking about seven figures and losses, man. And that's that's potentially a million dollars and up. And even anywhere around that is really tough to stomach around this Christmas period time. You guys can see these these motherfuckers making off in a Mercedes. Uh, not a Mercedes, my bad. A BMW, man. And a Nissan Versa, dude. Like, this is friggin' wild, bro. They are packing out this Mercedes. Uh, this I keep saying Mercedes. They're packing out this this BMW. And literally, uh, I think it was like uh, four cars. It was seven people. They were in and out in 15 minutes. Uh, jumped over, but the camera got their faces, man. So, the dispo owner had one word for him: say cheese, because we got you. So hopefully, man, they get some justice for this. But what really stuck out to me is at the end, it was not just the dispo owner who is in a tight place. It's also a lot of the growers. A lot of the growers who would have grown product, sent it out to that dispo, and uh, they would have been waiting for some of that 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 profit back, you know, some sort of income, you know. So the, the ripple effect of this is felt, you know, not from just these, these thieves, but this the dispo owner the growers the people who work at the dispo you know it, it just goes down the line it goes down the line a lot and it's really really sad and hard 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 to see man it's hard to see especially around the holiday season but that you know they say that's uh when the holiday season is when a lot of the crime spikes and stuff but they got away with it, man. And this this is wild. It was absolutely crazy. I, I literally think I saw this this morning. This happened uh, a short while ago. And it well, it's just mad. It's mad. It's maddening to see. But at least they got the, the camera footage of these these dudes. So if, you, if anyone knows these dudes and can help out you guys out in L.A., uh, sort of, uh, you know, see see what you can do. Let the dispo owner know, man. We got to stand together, man. We're all in the fucking cannabis community, man. And these people who are doing this sort of shit, man, they ain't in the community at all, man. They just... Uh, they just pests, dude. So what I'm going to say, uh, I just want to bring you guys that one to you guys as well, because that was like a fucking bank robbery style shit. But it was more like uh, at a dispo, dude. And that affects all of us, man, because if that happens more and more, that, that would just that's just not good for the industry, dude. Oh, man. Crazy, crazy times we're living in, guys. But smash the like button, hit the bell. I just want to bring you guys a different sort of video on the ICANN news today. And uh, these were the main stories, which seem to be pretty much trending. And uh, yeah, check out Diesel Dog, our sponsor. And we'll see you on the